Welcome to your special opening day edition of App Judgment. That's right, we're here at the home of the world champion San Francisco Giants to give you the rundown on this year's MLB app. Play ball! Who invited Ron? Uh, I have no idea. What, what is this? What is this? Let's go Mets! This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Gamefly. Go to www.gamefly.com slash appjudgment for your free trial membership. Hey, and welcome to App Judgment. We're here at AT&T Park, home of the world champion San Francisco Giants. My name is Annie Gauss. And I'm Zach Miner. And I'm Ron Richards, and it's a new baseball season, which means it's time for new versions of the official MLB apps. That's right. We've got new apps across Android and iOS platforms, including a special version for the iPad. So let's check them out. So... For Android, the MLB at Bat app is once again $15 in the Android marketplace. Obviously, the main features of the app are the same as previous years. You can stream any MLB game live on your phone, including home and away radio broadcasts. Josh walked back in the first inning, continuing our visit with Ron Romanek. And the next pitch, a fastball high. Say your favorite team is in New York. You can either listen to the New York broadcast or your local team broadcast, which is pretty cool. Another cool feature is you can look at uh, standings and scores from across the league. You can look at news and video updates from your teams. On the Android version, there's a couple cool widgets that you can check out. One of them displays the box score of your favorite team once you set that in the app settings. And another one is just a team-specific widget where you can click on it and easily access your team's latest news, videos, standings basically everything you need to know if you're a big baseball fan. They didn't make any improvements to the clunky audio player, so it's kind of difficult to pull up the broadcast if you're already streaming a game and jump into another app. You can't stream video. The MLB does say that they'll be bringing streaming video to select Android phones coming soon, but we haven't seen that yet, and even then, we don't know what phones will be available. That being said, you can hope for updates throughout the season, and as a diehard baseball fan, even one that lives in the area that my team plays, it's still a must-have. Let's check out Annie for the iPhone version. All right, um, the MLB did release their app first on the iOS platform, so you will see that the iOS version, as compared to the Android version, is a little bit sleeker, a little bit more polished in terms of the interface. And of course, you can't add widgets to the home screen the way you can on the Android, but you can customize your screen to show your favorite team, in my case, the Giants, and all the pertaining information up to the minute news, standing, scheduling. You can also buy tickets and have all of the features that you would expect from an MLB app. The main distinction between the iOS version and the Android version is that on the iPhone version, you can stream video. If you do have a subscription to MLB.tv, you can stream games, which you can't do on most Android devices at this point. But of course, you are going to be dealing with the restrictions between the local broadcasts that you do contend with with MLB.tv. So for example, if you're a local Giants fan and the game is available on cable, you won't be able to stream this on your iPhone. So it may not make sense, depending on your own personal viewing habits, to buy this app for 15 bucks if you plan on watching it on uh, TV, at a bar, at home, or whatever your own habits are. Um, but I still say download this app because it's a little bit pricey, but it's a pretty comprehensive um, way of getting all the info on your favorite team, be that the Giants or be that the Mets. So Mal, what's up? What are you playing right now? Uh, I actually got a chance to play with the Nintendo 3DS a little really? bit. Really? And I noticed Gamefly has a new category with all their launch titles in there, so that's awesome. kind of cool. Yeah, they're on top of it. They're, they've got all the games ready to go. If you've got a 3DS uh, coming up this weekend. Yeah. Nice. Well, I'm not surprised, to be honest with you, because yeah. Gamefly is the largest video game rental service, which offers you a choice from over 7,000 new and classic titles across all consoles and handhelds. With plans starting at $15.95 a month, Gamefly members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them for as long as they like. There are no late fees, no due dates, and shipping is always free. Mm -hmm. Once you're done playing a game, just send it back and Gamefly will send you the next available game on your list. And if you really like the game, click Keep It on the Gamefly website and the game is yours at a discounted price. Gamefly will even mail you the case and manuals free of charge. Yes, and not only that, but App Judgment fans get a 15-day free trial when they go to www.gamefly.com slash appjudgment. I'm going to get a 3DS. Love it. 3DS. 
So as you can tell, I'm a New York Met fan living in San Francisco. I'm a man without a home. Luckily, the MLB at Bat 2011 app keeps me in touch with my team, and that's the one reason why I keep buying it year after year. It does kind of suck that they charge 15 bucks every year, and especially after buying it for my Android phone, I just spent 30 bucks on the same app. But that said, this app is so worthwhile for a fan, it's a must have. I've got the MLB.tv account, so with my iPad, I can stream live video to my iPad wherever I am, and I can always watch a game. Takes a look, and it's out of here. Scott Harrison doing what he's been doing all spring. On top of that, it allows me to pick my favorite team, customize all the news and the standings and the information so I only get New York Mets information or any other team that I might be interested in. Because being here in San Francisco, I am a Giants fan. I do enjoy the games. I was here last year. I caught it. I was part of the magic. But that said, I would have liked to have seen a couple of more improvements to the application this year. There was not a lot of difference between last year's version and this year's version of the iPad app. With all the customizations on the Android platform to give you team-specific skins and things like that, I would have liked to have seen that on the iPad side of it. But that said, being a Met fan in San Francisco, I absolutely need this app and absolutely have no qualms at downloading it again. All right, so there are your MLB at-bat apps for iOS and Android for 2011. Getting it on the iPad, on my Android phone, definitely keeps me in the loop about my team. And there should be some great updates throughout the year. So if you're a diehard baseball fan and you can't make it to the stadium, you must download. And until next time, you can always find the show on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and on our homepage at revision3.com slash appjudgment. I'm Annie Gouts. And I'm Zach Miner. And I'm Ron Richards. And let's go Mets! Security! What? <laughs>